Now I imagine that everybody that's watching this video has already seen part one. And if you did see part one, you're probably thinking to yourself right now, hey, he's changed the blade. Well, I did. And we'll talk about that at the end of this video. Now I know for a fact there are people out there just waiting to see how I made my sawdust attachment for my big dust collector. Well, you know, I spent almost three hours fooling around trying to make a plywood scoop that would fit on the end of that big hose. And while I'm doing this and getting a little bit flustered, it all of a sudden came to me. This is not complicated. Well, as you can see, this is as uncomplicated as it gets. And the best part is, it works. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the blade. I just got my hands on this today. And you know the old saying, live and learn? Well, I didn't realize that you could get a thin curved blade in 12 inch like this. Now, please don't get me wrong, that CMT blade was a real sweetheart of a blade. Uh, but, you know, as far as I can tell, it's more than twice the price of this one from Bosch. And this one from Bosch with the thin curve might turn out to be actually better for the type of stuff that I do. So you can see that the kerf there on the Bosch blade was about 97, 98 thousandths of an inch. And here on the CMT, it's about 120. So what this means to me is that my next segmented project, which is going to involve some Purple Heart, which wasn't cheap, I'll get about 20% more out of it. I kind of like that idea. Okay, now you're going to get to see two things. First of all, you're going to notice how well this dust attachment works. You're not going to be seeing sawdust go flying around all over the place. That's partly because of the attachment, but also partly because the uh, Bosch is designed different from my old saw. Mainly that's the difference. Anyway, I'm going to mark the uh, pieces here so that I don't get them mixed up later. And here we go. Now please don't think that I keep at this until I finally get a take that was just right. This is the one and only take. And it was, uh, I would say, just about as good as the CMT. I, I can't see a whole lot of difference here. In fact, I, I really can't see any difference. It feels just the same. It's just as smooth. Now there is one thing that I did miss last week when I did my little review. And that is that as well as these things sliding back nice, they can also be completely removed very quickly. Now I could take them off on the other one as well, but there's a lot of fooling around with the undoing screws and This is nice. So I've had this thing now for almost a month and I've used it a few times and every time I use it I like it more and uh, as far as this blade goes if I had have known that this blade was available when I bought this saw I wouldn't have spent the money on the CMT because this blade is perfect. It's not, nothing wrong with it and it's got the thin kerf. Now uh, what bottom line would be uh, uh, would I buy this saw again? Yes, I would. I really would.